Hey guys, how's it gaming? It is still October, which means more nice Halloween style, style games. And Castlevania went a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So I figured we'd do something that I've been meaning to play for a long time and just never, ever got around to it. It is finally time for one of the best Super Nintendo games out there. Metroid 3, otherwise known as... Super Metroid. Oh. This game is so good. This game is so good. So yeah, this is Super Metroid. Let's uh, get on this. So what's fun about this game is you actually play in Japanese, which is kind of interesting. Um, don't know why you'd want to do that, but it's kind of cool. It means that the game was probably made with both localizations at the same time. So I assume the Japanese version is the same thing, where it just has this as the uh, kind of default. Uh, special settings zone. What is these? Mode, not zone. Icon cancel. I don't even know what these do. Yeah, you can moonwalk for some reason. I'm not gonna choose that. I'm not gonna moonwalk. Controllers, I think I'm pretty good, right? Yeah. Well, I want my shot to be Y. Why would it be X? Jump A. What the hell? This is weird. Alright, good enough. Whatever. And let's start this game off. All right, so yeah, happy Halloween, everyone. The last Metro, actually, I'll let it to say it. Is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Thank you, random narrator with the weird voice, but that is true. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebus. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, uh, to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. Dot, dot, dot. Nice use of an ellipse there, Samus. Love that background too, with like her, uh, her, her helmet. You can see her face through there. It's kind of a cool recreation of Metroid One. Very well done. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them, except for a larva, which after hatching, followed me like a confused child. Which um, we didn't play yet. We haven't played Metroid Two. Um, I don't know if I ever will. It's 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 not that it's a bad Metroid game. It's actually quite well done. I'm just really not versed in it, and it's doesn't seem like it'd be a very fun one to watch. But I mean, that might change. You know what I mean? You never know. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres so scientists could study its energy uh, producing qualities. I like how she has her her original traditional suit that she has in Metroid One. She doesn't have the giant. Um, like shoulder pads yet. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Exclamation mark. So happy about it. Very cool. Its art design is so awesome too. It's so unlike Nintendo back in 1994. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the astro asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Sarah's station was under attack. She read that now, or is this after she had completed Super Metroid? <laughs> so this is the, the um, scientist lab, space station Ceres. The, uh, the donut. A uh, space colony. Wow, really? So, because it feels very much smaller than that when you actually play through it. And there she is. There's Samus. Looks great. Pew, 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 pew. And down we go. This game has such great atmosphere. It's so great. It's so great. Um, also, I think probably one of the most, if not the most, um, popular speedrunning game like ever made. I'm not speedrunning it. I've never speedrun this game. And I'm definitely not going to start now. This game is very fun if you haven't played it already. And I uh, love this. Just the bodies of the scientists. It's just very, very cool. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, I'm so mean. <laughs> it looks great. It looks great. By the way, by the way, this is kind of like a long overdue thing. This is, uh, this, let, this let's play this for, for my buddy Tadio. He's been wanting me to play Super Metroid for like a few years now, and I'm finally doing it. We did it! We found the baby Metroid! That is it. I hope you like that, Tadio. We're all done. Let's get going. I can't get out. What's up? What's happening? Oh, God. Oh god. And it's Ridley! So, first boss fight. Um, if you didn't know already, you cannot win this fight. 
Um, in fact, you are supposed to lose on purpose. Um, you can't die here, you just kind of take a lot of hits. Um, or you hit him enough, and then he'll just run away, either way. Um, so basically, what I'm doing right now, if I, if I want to go faster, I just run into him and die on purpose. Oh, are we done? Nope, not yet. Oh, there we go. One last thing. Great thing. Emergency! Place is gonna explode. Oh my god, let's get out of here. We got one minute. One whole minute. Let's go. Yeah, Metroids are... Metroid games are... F they're really, really famous for their <laughs> escape sequences. So this game's just gonna be like, yeah, sure, we're gonna start with that. Even though... The not there, There's only the Metroid 3, so it's not like they had a lot of Metroid games to kind of, like, fall back on for tradition yet. You know? The steam doesn't hurt you. It does push you back. Like, nothing, nothing can kill you. The only thing that can kill you here is if you don't get out within a minute. And if you don't... If you can't get out, then you're just not playing the game very well, apparently. Oh my god. So it's just cool, the idea. I like, like, love this. The whole place is rocking back and forth and, like, even goes off the screen. Like, that's super well done. Oh, oh no. So just get up here. Basically, we're, we're out. We're fine. Got back to my ship. See ya, suckers. I'm good. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. And then the planet Zebes, which is where Ridley's from. Like I said before, Zebes is a, the, the first Metroid game. So the Space Pirates, and Ridley is kind of the leader of the Space Pirates, even though Mother Brain sort of is their leader. Leader, leader, leader. Well, Ridley's more like the... He, he's like Samus's personal villain, but he's not like the leader of the, of the Space Pirates, if that makes any sense. But yeah, and we get to see the... Uh, the, the surface of Zebes, because you couldn't see that in the first game, but I love it. So well done. Little things that really make the game, like your steps having like water splashing. It's so awesome. So cool. Anyways, you go to the left here, and you can't really do much to the left, which is kind of a shame. Oh, no, no, it's, sorry, it's the exact opposite. If you go to the right, you can't do anything. Metroid 1 was very cool because you started by going to the left, which was like unheard of in video games back then. This game kind of starts out the same way. You go to the left. So, can't really do much. Don't even have my morph ball. Which kind of sucks. Can't do anything over here, so we're going to continue down. But yeah, this game is, as you can see, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Great parallax backgrounds. Beautiful, large sprite for Samus. Like, like, she takes up a lot of the screen, but it doesn't hinder the game. You would think that'd be like, oh, she's too big. You know, she's taking up way too much space on the screen. Uh, you won't be able to do much. Not enough room to maneuver. That's not really the case with this game. I really like that. You can also shoot down, which is awesome. Which teaches you right there. This game's teaching me. It's game teaching me everything I need to know right off the bat. And here, if you played Metroid 1, this is actually the uh, large shaft, <laughs> large shaft, uh, that you basically climb out of at the very end of the first game. And uh, if you uh, haven't seen it already, I did Let's Play Metroid 1 and Metroid Zero Mission, which is a remake of Metroid 1 for the Game Boy Advance. I Let's Played both of those a couple years ago, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, and you, this doesn't seem recognizable or familiar, then I really suggest going to watch those Let's Plays, because they are pretty good, I, if I don't say, mind saying them myself. Even though they're fairly old now. But yeah, this is where Mother Brain was, and that's where you kind of destroyed her. Which is weird, because like this should be Torian, and um, there should be things over here. But whatever, elevator down here. Down we go. And where will it lead? No one knows. Except for me, I know. I've played this game before, so... Of course I know. And what looks like the beginning of the very first Metroid game. Which means you want to go want to go left. Because going left gives you the... Ball. Ball. Morphing ball. I got the morphing ball. And then the game gets freaky. Right here. Oh, I don't like that. You can see me, and like the, the guys, oh, these things start like looking at you. Oh, it's creepy. But, yep, yeah, pressing down once will make you crouch. Shoot, pressing down again, puts you in the morph ball. Hooray. And I guess we could go back up, but I actually, no, I don't think we can. I think we have to keep going. But yeah, this is very much like the beginning of the original first Metroid. Except there's no enemies, which is really weird. And, uh, oh no, I guess we have to go back. There's nothing we really, really can do here. Red or pink doors in this game. Uh, require missiles. We have zero missiles because Samus, for some reason, doesn't believe in preparing for her missions. She's just like, whatever, I'll just... 99 energy, no morph ball, whatever, we're fine. We're fine, it's good. And then I like how in Metroid Prime and all the other ones, she kind of, like, loses all her stuff. Like, per game. It's like, she starts off with all these things, but then she loses it. So anyways, we're gonna go back and... Oh, hmm... 
Nope, nope. Spoiler alert, but something was supposed to happen. Which means I skipped a part. This is why I don't speedrun this game, because clearly I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I should have been paying attention. The fact that I can shoot down is uh, kind of a major thing. So I should have been using that way over here. Hold the A button, you can run a little bit. Which is something that I did not know when I was a kid. Until the part where you need to. Anyways, you can get, kind of do this. So this is where we should go. Sorry, I'm an idiot. But you guys know that. You guys already know. Bam! Now we have some missiles. Missiles! Select missiles and press the missiles button. Easy enough. Very easy. Um, like every other Metroid game I've ever left played, this is not a 100% walkthrough. I'm never going to 100% a Metroid game because they are boring to 100% uh, when you're not playing just by yourself. Anyways, press select. Bam! Boom! Bam! Bam! Bomb! All five. What a waste of missiles. But now it means enemies will drop missiles. Not that there's any enemies in this game. It's fairly breezy. Fairly easy. Fairly cover girl. Beautiful cover girl. Whatever it is. Easy breezy whatever. Another missile. Hooray. So now that we have the missiles, now we can head back. Because there are doors up kind of near the surface that we couldn't get to. And now we can. So we're going to do that. Yerp. You roll really fast in this game. I just really noticed that. Which is fine by me. This game, you can move pretty quickly. It's awesome. Up we go. Well, Ridley wasn't down here, but at least we got missiles and a morphing ball. That's all that matters, right, Samus? Radio. Anyways, this is what was supposed to happen when I thought it was supposed to happen. It's like, oh, we're going to keep going. Oh my god, there's space pirates everywhere. And now we have enemies. Um, and to be honest, as a kid, like, that's really cool. I was nine when this game came out. I remember being very, like, stunned by how, like, atmospheric this game was. This was very cool. Gray doors like that that flash blue after you kill all the enemies, you basically need to kill all the enemies in order to do that. I don't remember having this much range. Uh, in the original Metroid in Zero Mission, you start with uh, a very short range beam. And you need the long beam in order to shoot farther. I guess this game you just start with the long beam immediately. So yeah. But yeah, clearly something's up. Something's not right. Because the uh, space pirates are clearly here. So I did not make a mistake in coming to uh, to Zebus. Hunting down Ridley. You don't really need to kill these guys. But not really a big deal that I am. Whee! Jump up. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Definitely. And one, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Anything over here? There's actually a lot we can do now, because um, now that we have the morph ball as well, so. There's a couple places we can get to, but. Well, I'm bad at shooting and jumping. Because I seem to do it into things, which is not good. This game is actually fairly hard, too. Oh, nice. This is kind of a new thing to the Super Metroid. We actually have actual maps, which is awesome. Probably should have pointed this out actually when I landed. So, uh, yeah, when you pause the game, get a map. And uh, when you get to a new area, you can only see um, where you're kind of going. So all that purple or that pink area is where I've already been. And blue is where I can see now because I've got a map. Not a very large area, as you can see, though. This is Criteria, which is... Uh, I guess part of Torian, because I mean, there's the shaft that uh, Mother Brain used to be in. Then we can see Samus' stuff. I only have the Morphing Bowl, but there's a lot to get, so. That's it, right? Yeah. This game also has a really weird thing, and this is kind of a weird thing I've always noticed, but no one ever really talks about. When you pause, it doesn't like snap to the pause thing. It like fades away, like that. And you can see that you're still clearly playing, so you can like get hurt while the fade out's happening. It's a really weird thing that I don't really know why they did. Like, I'd rather just, like, stop the gameplay immediately. You know what I mean? Die, damn you. Those little guys are hard to hit, because I've got such a small, pathetic beam. And, whoops, wrong way. Oh, come on, Phil. But we can use the Morph Ball here, but I believe this is just a dead end anyways. Yeah, I can't do anything. Although the skull faces are very angry about me. They're like, oh, you don't belong here. This place is for blue skull guys only. So maybe, like, you know, Dark Samus from the Metroid Prime games. Uh, and here's a save point. First, oh no, sorry, I was going to say the first Metroid game with saving, but that's not true at all. Metroid 2 had saving, which is very unique for a Game Boy game, especially back in the day. Metroid 2 is very, very, very unique and very well done. Ahead of its time for the uh, 
It was the original Game Boy. There was supposed to be... Friggin' hell, Phil. There was supposed to be a, um, a DX remake of Metroid 2. With, uh, like, kind of the way um, Link's Awakening got a DX remake. But it never came out. Which is a huge shame, because I really think that game deserved it. But, not a big deal. Anyways, the only thing we can really do is avoid these guys and go down here. Nice. Watch out for these rippers. They'll rip you a new one. That's what they do. That's why they're named rippers. Probably, anyways. I don't know. Avoid these guys. Ah, okay, I'll get hit by them. Get some life back, I guess. Ah, more missiles. Uh, right. Boop. And bam. There we go. And we have another guy who's going to give us another ability. We get the Morph Ball Bombs. Basically, transform to a little ball instead of with the Y button. Awesome. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, shit. What the hell? That's really weird. Why can't I get out? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Obviously, I knew this was going to happen, but it's still fun to <laughs> fun to get into the act. Boo, 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 boo. Shoot it in the, the shiny chest. I'm going to turn into uh, my missiles. Ah, miss. I miss with my missiles. Hit those guys. You can um, break his uh, his um, eggs or whatever, egg bombs. You can actually uh, get missiles and stuff from them, which is really cool. Oh, shit, we're already uh, busting up pretty good. Ah, no missiles. It's okay. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Almost dead. Oh, jeez, he is not happy. There we go. Easy enough. Woo! Woo! Explosions everywhere. Awesome. Full life and almost full missiles, but not a big deal. Not a big deal. But now we have the Morph Ball Bombs. It allows us to lay them down and be... And uh, if you're good with the Morph Ball Bombs, you can... Uh, I'm not good with the Morph Ball Bombs, by the way, but... Ha ha! Aw. Eh. Ho. Ha ha! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So bad at this game compared to a lot of other people. But yeah, you can use the Morph Ball Bombs to kind of get places you couldn't before uh, in Morph Ball mode, which is very cool. Very cool. A lot of secrets can be found that way. A lot of um, shortcuts and whatnot. It's very, very nifty. Very nifty. We're gonna make our way up here and bomb our way out. Get that shit out of our way. And now with the Morph Ball Bombs, there are... There's even more things we can do, and that's basically the game in a nutshell, is find an ability, find out places to go. Also, you can just do this. Ha ha! Is this a secret? I don't even know. Not really, it's on the map. I definitely want to go to the little square with the white square in it. Yeah, so any square with the white square, like a little, little map grid with a little dot in it, basically means there's something to get in that room. So it's a good way of telling whether or not there's things to get. Though obviously sometimes they hide things like there might be something on the outside of this tunnel, for example. I mean, like, let's pretend there was something maybe in here. Then it might not show up on the map. Because it would be in, like, a different room. So, sometimes you won't be able to rely on the map to know where the secrets are or whatnot. But a lot of times you can tell when it's going to happen or when there's something there. For example, right in here. We know there's something here because there's clearly something marked on the map. What is it, though? It's more missiles. This is definitely good. Definitely need them. You don't want to miss the missiles. Sorry, I'm full of bad jokes today. That's okay. Because uh, Super Metroid being such an amazing game will more than make up for me. And then we got little secrets here. Woo! We actually get um, abilities that allow us to see like secret passages like that. It's pretty cool. It gives us a lot of unique things that aren't in a lot of other Metroid games. So it's just kind of cool to see them in this one. Bam, bam, bam. So anyways, let's continue on. Now that we understand how a map works, and that we know there's something over here, let's continue over there. Yeah, there we go. I think we also get our first energy tank around here, too. Shoot me the ground in case there's something. You're shooting me the ground. Oh, 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 that was close. Yeah, if you ever, if you like Super Metroid a lot, and you're not sick of watching uh, another Super Metroid run after watching mine, <laughs> Watch a speedrun, an actual good speedrun of Super Metroid. It's a thing to watch, believe me. That was an energy tank. And energy tanks give me a full 100 more life. You can see up there I have a pink square. That, oh man, you guys block things, so definitely use missiles. Uh, yeah, it gives you a full 100, and that pink square is, is um, it basically it signifies that. So now I've doubled my health. That's awesome. And what is in here? What is in here? What could it be? It's not even on the map. So what could it be? Ooh. It's a refrigeration area. 
Woo. Oh man. Inside of here we got this crazy weird friggin' what is this? A statue? A shrine? I don't know, but we'll talk about it next time on Let's Play Super Metroid. We're playing Super Metroid, guys! It's gonna be so much fun! Such a great game for Halloween because it's spooky and it's creepy and it's got so much like atmosphere. Can't wait to play this. So much fun. Alright, guys, I'm Phil the Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.